Hi everyone, Danny Hogger here for San Diego Christian College. I'm a master student who's earning his Master's of Arts degree in teaching online. And this is sponsored content, but all of the thoughts are my own as I complete the work, the research, and work towards earning my master's degree. You can learn more about the program. It's been exceptional for me. You can watch all 37 videos prior to this one to see week by week what I've been doing and what I've been working on. And you can also go to sdcc.edu to find out more specifics on this and many postgraduate and undergraduate degree programs from San Diego Christian College. Well, it's here, guys. All year, we've been building towards action research and what we're going to do to be change agents in the classroom. And this week, I get to discuss my initial plans for action research. I'm sure I will go through many revisions as I work to complete my capstone project of my master's degree program from San Diego Christian College. I hope this will be an insightful glimpse into the first draft of my research, my thought process at this point of the term, and covering some of the revisions that will probably occur in the next revision in the next episode of the vlog. First, let's start with my area of focus statement. I was trying to find something specific and yet broad, something with depth, but something that would be manageable over the course of a term to study inside my classroom. So I was trying to think about something personal. What is it that I like to do? What would I like to spend time with exploring and asking? And so the purpose of my study will be to describe the effects of listening to a podcast review for homework on assessment performance of my students, which are high school juniors in U.S. history class. So if I teach a lecture and then I give a quiz on the following day, will assigning a podcast that I record here on my microphone improve or correlate at all to a change in scores for my students? This is something that I do for my class occasionally usually for the larger elements of, of the units, for the more difficult material, or for the more dense chapters. It's not something I do all the time. And the question I have is, am I helping my students? Am I assisting them by doing this production? Is this beneficial to my class? Or maybe it's having the opposite effect. Maybe assigning this is taking away from their activities, their plans, their sleep, their rest, their friends, their family, their activities, and their leisure. And is it damaging? So I'm triangulating scores on assessments with performance of my students, with the energy level that they're going to report to me as a secondary purpose to study the effects on their energy levels through the day. And then in greater detail, is the purpose of the research having an effect on their performance in a meaningful way that would give me feedback? In greater detail, I'm going to give a lesson via the same methods to different United States history class groups. I will lecture with a combination of visuals through a PowerPoint presentation, some primary source materials, and I'll be distributing those to each student so they'll have some guided notes. And I'm going to teach the same lecture style that I always do. So I'm not making any changes to how I treat my classes. But on some units, there will be a test. On some days after a lecture, there will also be a test. But there will be a podcast on one portion and a podcast not available for other materials. And what I'm going to do is compare the average scores. So I'm going to make very similar assessments, teach very similarly um, deep lessons in different high school classes. And that way, I have a few different courses and a few different days to compare and contrast and judge the performance of the homework group that listened to the podcast review and the non-homework group that did not have a podcast available and compare them. I'm also going to survey their fatigue via a survey before the class lectures, after the class lectures, before the quizzes, and after the quizzes. That's going to give me four different data points. So I have some qualitative content to assess and some quantitative. And I want to assess, is this a meaningful form of homework? Is this a helpful boost for assessment performance? And the potential research questions, are, I think, are pretty clear. Does homework affect the energy level of students in the form of a podcast? Does a podcast lesson help the score on the, and the retention of information? And does homework affect the assessment scores? So scores, retention, energy level are the three things that I am looking for. And I'll be collecting the data for the whole sets of classes on a series of four different days. And that's what I think I have so far. So that's my reflection. And the course material inside 
the dashboard has been helpful because we've been reading a material about action research. We have been giving each other feedback on how to refine each other's research topics. We've been offering suggestions on how that could be made better. And we have been exploring the possible ethical issues of our research study. So I think I found something strong because it doesn't affect the normal course of my teaching. I don't have to blow up my lesson to do this. I can, at the end of this, have a so what of, am I helping my students by creating this or am I doing this for some other reason? And should I continue or should I increase the amount of podcasts that I produce? So that's going to be very interesting for me to find out if this has a correlation. For the podcast, these are also available at the hoggerhistory.podbean.com and on iTunes, the Hogger History Podcast. So if you know somebody who teaches history that wants some extra review for their topics, these will be available. We have 99 episodes available at the date that I'm recording this. So what comes next? Well, I've been reviewing other materials. I've been looking at samples. I'm lucky to have good colleagues here at the high school. Uh, My colleague who went through this program has given me his research to look through. And so I'm flagging that and looking through different sections and getting ideas for how to organize my research. I'm also reading the text and I've done my literature review now, which we did in a prior episode of this podcast. And next I'm going to start, uh, well, I'm waiting for my board review. That was submitted this week, a few days ago. They review on Fridays. Today's is Friday as I record this. And then I will, once I have the go ahead, I'll either be revising and resubmitting or starting to collect the data and starting to see how this intervention affects the classroom. So these next few videos are going to be very important because I'll be finding out more about whether or not I'm going to be making further changes to the question. And we'll talk about that here. And if not, we'll be starting. We'll be getting rolling and on my way to this capstone project. Can you believe the year has gone so fast? It's May, but it is flying, as is the school year. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, Comments down below if you have any, or you can email me as well at inspiringteachershow at gmail.com. Inspiring Teachers, our weekly interview show, is live every week if you'd like to listen to that. And otherwise, I'll see you next edition to talk more about the Master's of Arts degree in teaching from San Diego Christian College. Until then, class dismissed. You can go to sdcc.edu to find out more information, and we'll see you in the next edition. Thank you for watching and supporting me through my journey. I hope it's helpful to other prospective students out there. We'll see you next time. Class dismissed.